In Chicago, that uh, raid in which two Black Panthers died in a shootout with police continues making headlines. CBS News correspondent Ike Pappas reports. State's attorney Edward Hanrahan said he could wait no longer, that he had to reveal the details of the Hampton killing in order to defend his officers from charges that they deliberately killed the Illinois Black Panther leader in a political assassination. Hanrahan, at a press conference, disputed the claims of the Black Panthers that the police shot first. Hanrahan, in fact, challenged the Panthers to lie detector tests. We challenged the other persons in that apartment to be as forthright as our police officers. If those other persons in that apartment will take a lie detector test, then we would allow our police officers to do so. The Panthers charged this was a political assassination, that Hampton was marked, that, that your office got him. How do you react to that? That's uh, patently uh, ridiculous. That's the type of propaganda statement that I deplore. Uh, having been publicized by practically all the uh, media, uh, particularly when that type of irresponsible statement was made by a person who had no basis for making it. The fact is that none of our officers knew, nor did anyone in our office know, that Hampton was in that apartment when we sought to serve the uh, warrant there. Uh, the further fact is that, uh, that the uh, death of uh, Mr. Hampton uh, uh, and the other individual occurred uh, as a consequence of their, the occupants, firing first upon our police officers. The Panthers continued to take scores of people through the house in which Hampton was killed. As to the lie detector challenge, Panther leaders were said to be discussing this with their lawyers and would make their decision known later on. The Panthers say on their guided tours through the apartment that there is no evidence of any shotgun blasts being directed from inside outward toward the police, that all of the fire was incoming from the police in an attempt to murder Hampton. In answering that, Attorney Hanrahan asks his own question, would I send 14 men to kill one? Ike Pappas, CBS News, Chicago.